Join us on a journey to the frigid waters of the Arctic Circle, where the world is cloaked in a frozen, dark blue hue that seems to stretch on forever. Here, amidst the ice and chilling breezes that make ice particles dance like fireflies, lives an elusive beast, perfectly camouflaged to its surroundings. On this particular day, Stuart Caldwell, a skilled geographer, donned his white fur garments, complete with a white head warmer and goggles to brave the icy terrain. With a backpack slung over his shoulder, he ventured out to explore the ice lands, expertly navigating his way through the thicker ice. Though the wind was relentless, he forged ahead without a single misstep. As he ascended a mound of ice, Stuart took in the breathtaking landscape, devoid of trees or bushes, save for the occasional rock formation that punctuated the expanse. He noted the frozen water around the edges, creating a perfect pathway between the shoreline and the ice field. From the peak of the mound, Stuart could see the sea of dark, jagged boulders below, leading to a small lake filled with ice. The view was nothing short of awe inspiring, but Stuart's excitement and sense of adventure did not allow him to fully appreciate the beauty before him. As he began his descent, a loud cracking sound caused him to turn around just in time to witness a massive mountain of ice crashing into the frozen land. Stuart knew all too well the dangers of the Arctic, from treacherously thin ice to the risk of encountering bears. He was prepared for anything, with a knife and bear spray can in his bag. As Stuart continued his survey of the ice formations, he noticed something unusual. These glaciers appeared untouched by human activity for centuries, perhaps even longer. It was a rare and precious find in this frozen wilderness, and Stuart felt privileged to bear witness to it. After studying the distribution of ice in the Arctic, Stuart noticed that some pots were thinner while others were thicker. Although most seemed normal, they were still a little slippery. Despite this, Stuart thought he could walk across safely without too much difficulty, and even if something did catch him unaware, he didn't think it would pose too much danger. Finally reaching the bottom of the slope, Stuart made his way up to the jagged rock shelf he had spotted earlier. However, when he turned back to continue, he froze in shock. The jagged rocks were completely surrounded on all sides, and even the path to the base of the mountainside was blocked off. This was not a great situation for Stuart, and he mumbled his frustration. Taking a deep breath, Stuart began his trek up the incline, with each step making his heart beat faster. The air was frigid, and the coldness made him shiver violently. He wondered how long it would take for the cold to kill someone. When he finally made it to the ridge above the lake, Stuart stopped abruptly. The sheer cliffs above him were dotted with patches of snow and it looked like a scene straight out of a horror movie. However, Stuart couldn't rest, not when there was an entire family of polar bears waiting for him. In all his years of exploring the Arctic, he had never seen anything quite like this. Polar bears were supposed to roam far north in winter, hibernating until spring. Yet here he was faced with a pack of vicious creatures. He wondered what he could even hope to do. Just then, a few of the bears noticed him and Stuart's heart raced. He knew that there was no time to wait, so he began to climb down, hoping to escape the mother bear and her cubs. As he approached the bottom, he glanced up to make sure that he had made it. He breathed a sigh of relief upon seeing that his path was clear. However, as he moved forward, he suddenly heard a growl echo from somewhere nearby. Stuart stopped in his tracks. Was he hearing things? No, there it was again. It sounded close by, right in front of him. And then he wondered just what had he walked into. One of the bears followed him, and he glanced up briefly, taking note of his surroundings. Another growl. It sounded closer to his right. Without thinking, Stuart dashed to the side, sliding down a sloppy pathway of ice. The noise of another snarl behind him made his heart leap into his throat. He knew this was hopeless. There was nowhere else to go. He glanced back and gasped. Standing just a couple of feet behind him, blocking his path, was the largest white bear he had ever seen. Its teeth were razor sharp, the tips glowing an orange glow that illuminated the dark space around it. The animal raised its head, 
letting out yet another warning growl that sent chills down Stuart's spine. Stuart was frozen in place, staring at the creature before him. He tensed with dread, but oddly enough, he found courage. He briskly reached for his backpack and got out the knife and the bear spray. The bear charged towards him, and just as the claws came in a deadly strike, Stuart released the fury of the chemical within the bear spray. The claws knocked the bear spray can out of Stuart's hand, but he hadn't missed his target. The fumes of the bear spray had already reached the bear's nose, and now it was letting out a roar of pain which made it stagger backward. It tried to shake off the burning sensation, but it couldn't seem to rid itself of the effects. Before the bear could regain its balance, Stuart used this opportunity to run.